I've got something tonight I'm going to say. Some of you may not like it, but I'm going to say it. I have a friend in New Zealand who proved the following. And it's in my book, Final Notice, and I've checked it out. It is correct what I'm saying, whether you believe it or not. Here it is. A nuclear device cannot be detonated at any time or at any place. I'll try and make it as clear as I can. This is a secret hidden from the world. It is only able to be detonated by a certain geometric process, which is a geometric harmonic set up when the sun is in a certain position. And when the sun moves into that position, it is not detonated by conventional weapons because it is a geometric device. It is detonated by the geometrical harmonic situation of the sun in relation to the center of the earth and the device that is being triggered. And that's why when they dropped one on Nagasaki, they had to fly around for about an hour and a half waiting for the sun to move into the right position. They were being attacked by Japanese fighters, but they couldn't let it off. And it says here, I've got this from the uh, British newspapers, look at this. Designing a nuclear bomb is easy enough, but the hard part is finding the trigger. And in New Zealand, there is a brilliant man who discovered what the trigger was. It is the relationship, harmonically speaking, of the sun and the earth. Now, I haven't got time to go into the details of all this, but I was doing a talk back in New Zealand the other night on the radio. My wife was upstairs. I was downstairs on the telephone, and she was watching, listening to the radio with a friend upstairs. And the interviewer was a very well-known interviewer and got very upset about me because I was coming on fairly strong on the radio. And my wife does not like me to be attacked. She looks after me. I was saying that to you today, bud. My wife looks after me. If anybody gets after me, you want to see my wife get after them. Who likes having a good wife, friends? I like being protected. And this, this woman interviewer was getting into me, and all of a sudden the interviewer went like this. Oh, what's happened to me? Oh, she said, my whole mind has been wiped clean. I can't think what I'm doing. She said, it's just like a windscreen wiper has come across my head. I can't think of anything, what I'm doing here. My wife ran down the stairs and said, see what I've done. I said, what did you do? She said, I just bound up the devil in her. She said, she pointed to the radio and said, I bind you in Jesus' name. And the woman went, whoa, what's happened to me? And she was the top interviewer in New Zealand. And I said, don't worry, I'm still here. And I was talking about the nuclear issue. She was trying to make mincemeat out of me about the nuclear issue. She said, I don't believe what you're saying, Mr. Smith. I've got one of the top scientists here. He's going to speak on the radio now. She put the scientists on, and he said how they detonate a nuclear device. And then she said to me, what do you think of that? And I said, I'll tell you what I think of that. He's still trusting in the old physics. He's trusting in the old physics, but he is out of date. There is a new physics, which is the true physics, and you cannot detonate them except by this method, the sun sets them off. And this man in New Zealand discovered it, and certain scientific agencies from around the world went across to ask this man if he was so clever to tell when the next blast would go off at Muroa Atoll. And he said, I'll tell you. He got on his calculator and he worked out exactly the time he had the sun tables there. He's a personal friend of mine. And he set up all the sun tables. He said, the next blast will go off in the Pacific at 5.41 on the 7th. And sure enough, it went off exactly to the minute, exactly what he said. He got it right three times. And then they said to him, please do not tell anybody around the world about this. It is a secret. And he said, I believe the whole world needs to learn the geometric processes involved. And so he wrote it in a book and it's in a book. And then I went to Great Britain. And when I was up there, I took a copy of my book, and a man called me up on the telephone one night, and he said, Mr. Smith, you know, speak one of those English chaps, Mr. Smith. I said, yes, he said, I'd like to take you out for lunch. I said, all right, love to. And your wife, and he said, I'm bringing a scientist along. He said, for goodness sake, I've read your book, don't talk about the nuclear bomb, don't. He said, you'll lose your credibility. So I had a copy of my book with me. We sat at the table. The scientists were here, my wife and the other man on the other side. Halfway through the meal, I whipped the book out, you see. I said, have you read what I said in my book about the nuclear device? He said, no. I said, I'll tell you, you can't set them off at any time or at any place. They're detonated by the relationship of the sun in relation to the center of the earth and the device that is being triggered. And, you know, I thought the man was going to say to me as a scientist, absolute nonsense. You know what he said? He said, Mr. Smith, if what you're saying is correct, listen, if what you're saying is correct, I said, praise God, he's listening. If what you're saying is correct, they could only be detonated twice a year. I knew why. Because there's the sun, here's the earth. The earth revolves around the sun. It passes the same spot twice a year. And I said, it's funny you said that. I said, if you read my book, I'm giving you a copy. I've written the dates down twice a year when they set them off. 
And I've actually got the dates in my book when they set them off at Muru Atoll, and it is exactly right. I've also been where they build the bomb at Los Alamos, and I've got some information from there, which I'm not going to tell you tonight, but I know enough that what I'm saying is correct. I then said to my, my scientist friend in New Zealand, the other day, just before I left to come here, I said, Bruce, when will the sun be in the right spot for them to drop one on Iraq? I said, is there a spot in Iraq they could drop one at a certain time? And he said, uh, no.